Today I'm going to show you how to make some bunting which I'm going to use for the Platinum Jubilee this year. I've used the bunting panel called Notting Hill from Riley Blake and I really like um, its kind of subtle retro tones. They're just nice pinks and yellows and greens. So today I'm going to do some really super easy sewing um, and this is partly to get my sewing mojo back. Um, I've been really busy at work and I've not had a lot of time to do any sewing and so to get back into the groove I'm just going to do something that's really easy to do um, and this uh, panel of bunting flags is going to be really easy. So for my uh, bunting I'm going to need to choose um, some fabric to go on the backing and I've gone to my uh, small stash of um, larger pieces of fabric um, so that I can choose something from here. I think I'm going to go for that blue speckledy one. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. So I've brought that blue speckledy fabric over to the bunting fabric and I think it's a really good colour match for it. So I'm going to take it off the board and see if I've got enough fabric. But yes, I do have enough fabric. And I thought I'd just show you the boards that I keep my larger pieces of fabric on. Um, I came across this idea on the internet or on YouTube. And uh, these are pieces of card that um, comic book or comic magazine collectors use to keep their comics in pristine condition and they're actually really good for wrapping your fabric around and storing them. So I've laid the two pieces together, right sides together and then pinned them in place and I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and sew them together. So once you've sewn up and down the sides of all the bunting flags you're ready to cut them out. So once you've trimmed the bunting flags you need to turn them through. So these are the small mini bunting flags and I've laid them out in the order that I want them to appear on the bunting string. Because the mini bunting is so fiddly, I decided to start by doing a zigzag stitch along the tops to stop them from fraying. And then I'm going to complete the mini bunting with this crochet trim along the top. I've now pinned the bias binding tape along the top of the bunting flags and then I will take that to the sewing machine and sew them all together. And the bias tape is now sewn on the top of the bunting flags. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on my bunting. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get to see all my new videos. Thanks for watching and happy quilting.